Thank you. 
kind of song, and it always makes me feel better when I sing it. Reverend Mother, where did you learn that song? Oh, I was raised on the mountains myself. again into the world for a time, you would return to us, knowing what we expect of you, and that we do expect it. But Mother, I know what you expect, and I'll do it, I promise. Maria, if it is God's will that I am to leave, then where am I to go? There's a family. Seven children. You like children, you're very good with them. They need a governess until September. Until September? Captain Von Schropp expects you this afternoon. He's a good man and a brave one. He was even awarded the medal by the Emperor as far as heroism in the Adriatic. But, Mother, a captain in the Navy. He'll be very strict. You're not being sent to his battleship. Bless you, Maria. Reverend Mother, may I have your permission to sing? Yes, my child.
Franz, I was calling the housekeeper and she didn't answer. You know why? Somehow she doesn't care, so. I'm sorry, sir. I was answering the telephone. Good day, sir. We're happy to see you home again. Why did the last governess leave? Who knows? She just said, I've had enough of this, and walked out. Was Louisa playing tricks on her again? Putting she, toads in her bed? She didn't complain of that, sir. Well, there's another one coming today, and this one can't leave. Oh? She's coming from Nunberg Abbey and has orders to stay until September. I hope you'll be at home for a time. Only for a day. Was the telephone call for me? No, it was for Franz. Before you arrived, there was a call from Vienna. A Frau Schrader. I have the number in the pantry. I know the number. I'll be back in about a month or so with some guests. Yes, sir. Do you know how many? Only two. Herr Detweiler and... Ah, Herr Detweiler. And Frau Schrader. Who was on the telephone? It was the post office. They've got a telegram for you. It will be delivered at 7 o'clock. 7 o'clock. Five hours to be With that scatterbrained boy delivering telegrams. Well, that's one thing they're saying. If the Germans did take over Austria, we would have efficiency. Don't let the captain hear you say that. <sighs> he didn't whistle for us when his wife was alive. He's being the captain of a ship again. <sighs> I can't bear being whistled for. It's humiliating. In the Imperial Navy, the boatswain always whistled for us. But I wasn't in the Imperial Navy. Too bad. <laughs> Could have made a fortune. <laughs> you are to wait here. Captain Von Trapp, you are Fraulein Maria. As to your duties here, would you mind stepping over there? Before the children meet you, you will put on another dress. But I don't have another dress. All of our worldly possessions were given to the poor. What about this one? in charge of my children. There are seven of them. You will find out how far they progress on their studies and carry on from there. Each morning will be spent in the classroom. Each afternoon they march. You will see that at all times they conduct themselves with orderliness and decor. The first rule in this house is discipline. Yes, sir. Now when I want you, this is what you'll hear. 